in A minor was composed by Giuliani. Giuliani was an Italian composer, cellist, singer, and guitarist who lived from 1781 to 1829. This is a great piece. It makes use of pivot fingers. So this is something I'll talk about when we get into the video. So step number one is you want to learn the right hand pattern. So here it is. Let's just start by doing our open strings, thumb on the sixth string, index finger on the third, middle finger on the second, and ring finger on the first. So what we're going to do is go thumb, index, middle, index. So you want to get that down. So that's the first pattern. The second pattern is going to get, you're going to go ring, index, middle, index. So again, ring, index, middle, index. Once you feel comfortable with those two patterns, then try and combine them. So then you get thumb, index, middle, index, ring, index, middle, index. Alright, so we will start with the first two fingers down and the middle finger is going to stay down for the first four measures. So this is a pivot finger. A pivot finger is when you have a finger that stays when the other fingers move. And this helps with technical security, the left hand. So slowly it goes. Notice that middle finger stays down. I'm doing, in the second measure, I'm doing the bass notes with the thumb. And you keep that, again, that middle finger stays. So you've got. And then measure four is similar to measure two, except we're going to go on the fourth string. So that first line slowly goes like this. All right, then two and one right here. Now you want to keep that first finger down. And then we're going to go here. And then. So those two chord changes can be difficult to do. And one thing that I will do is I will only put fingers down when I need them. So if I look at measure eight, now when I go to this A minor slash C chord, I put the third finger down, and then I put the other two fingers down. So that gives you a little extra time if you just put what you need down first to get the rest of it. So again, I do the similar thing here. I put the middle finger down first. So I'll go middle finger first and then pinky. If I start at measure seven, you've got. All right, nine, 10, 11, and 12 are the same as the first line. So you've got. minor chord except we're going to hit the fourth string as the root so that's an E so same right hand pattern same chord just hit the sixth string take off the first finger and then the first finger And then we have the first ending which begins at measure 17. So you're going to start off with two and one and we're just going to go thumb, index, 
middle ring, and then the third finger goes down. So again, slowly. Now we're going to go two and one here. Then the pinky. So that measure goes. And then those two measures repeat again. So you've got. From here, you're going to go back to the beginning. You can repeat measures one through 16, and then when you get to measure 17, you're gonna skip that first ending and go straight to measure 21, which is the second ending. So the second ending is similar to the first ending, has the same chords, just a little different order. So we're gonna start off two and one, and we're gonna go slowly. One and four. Back to here. And then first. And then those two measures repeat. And you end like that. All right, and that's it. So it's a fun piece to play. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and good luck.